Once upon a time, there was a little ogre named Shrek, who lived with his parents in a bog by a tree. It was a pretty nasty place, but he was happy because ogres like nasty. On his seventh birthday, the little ogre's parents sat him down for a talk, just as all ogre parents had for hundreds of years before. Listen, son, you're growing up so quickly. Take some words of wisdom for your trip. These are little things you need to know. When you are grotesque, life is Kafkaesque. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. And you'll find somewhere to go. It's a big, bright, beautiful world. Happiness. Very sad, but ogres, they're used to that. The hardships, the indignities, the endless stream of misery. And so the little ogre went along his way. Cue the happy villagers. This is my cue. <laughs> Off you go, wee laddie. And so the little ogre went off and found a perfectly rancid swamp far away from civilization. And whenever a mob came to burn him at the stake, he knew exactly what to do. <laughs> Keep your big, bright, beautiful world. I'm happy where I'm all alone. I got all I need. Sorry, the stink can sign. Aha. Keep your big, bright, beautiful world. A party of my own, anyway. Doing what I can with the one man conga line. Yeah, your big, bright, beautiful world. It's all teddy bears and unicorns. Take your fluffy fun and shove it where the sun don't shine. I prefer a life like this. It's not that complicated. Sure, I'm fated to be lonely and I'm destined to be hated. If you read the books, they say it's why I was created, but I don't care. Cause being liked is grossly overrated who needs a big bright beautiful world i got my own little patch of the world it's not a big bright beautiful world but it's mine alone it's mine and it's mine Oh, mine! Silence. Oh, watch the mother. Ew, the mother.
It's not fit for a pig! Hello? We can hear you. We are standing right here. Look! You all read Lord Farquaad's decree. Yeah, yeah, we read it. All fairy tale creatures are banished from the kingdom of Duloc. All fruitcakes and freaks will be sent to a resettlement facility. Resettlement facility is a swamp. Smells like butts. Yeah. It is! All right, now when I call your name, please step forward. Pinocchio, the puppet. Uh, I'm not a puppet, I'm a real boy. That's your patch of mud down there. Fairy godmothers. Right, right here. here. Tooth fairy. Aw, oh, jumped on a swamp. Man, I'll tell you. Sometimes being a fairy tale creature sucks behind sap. Life. Just right. Strife is never ending. Sugar Plum Fairy. Banished from the town. Wicked Witch. They broke my magic wand. Sid Blue our God knows now. Big Red Wolf. Life is but a witch hunt. Mama's in the mud. Mama's in distress. They ridiculed my hat. They said that we were bad. They tore my cotton cranny dress and bowled me a hot and tranny mess. Rapunzel! Story of my life, no one seems to care. The party's off the hook. You'll have to climb my hair. That's the story of my life. And remember, if we find you back in the kingdom, you will be executed. Uh, that's the story of my life. I always dreamed I'd get a happy ending. Turn around right now and go back where you came from. Go back, we can't go back. Farquaad will turn us into brothers, dear. This guy's bad news. Hey, maybe you can talk to him? Yeah, listen to you. You're big and scary. I'm also an ogre, which means I stay in my swamp and avoid large crowds. Or haven't you read the stories? Yeah, like those stories that say that I'm a big bad wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wicked witch. <laughs> or, or the stories that say that I'm a wooden boy. <laughs> what? I'm not a wooden boy. I have a glandular condition. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Listen up, ogres. I'm gonna spell it out for you. We don't want this here any more than you do. But you're the only one tough enough to stand up to that no good flim flam of Tough enough? You don't even know me. I always dreamed I get a happy ending. It was foretold in my horoscope. Can't you help us out with a never after? Can't you see that you're
fairy tale things. Your welcome is officially worn out. I'm gonna go talk to this Farquaad guy right now and get you all off my land and back where you came from. Yay! Yay! Time to goodbye, time to say farewell. Time for you to fly, it's been really swell. Gosh, I'm gonna cry. Time to say goodbye. Oh, he's right back. Time to say bye. Oh, don't get too comfortable. Oh, we're on oh, the Oh, and don't touch my... Time to say goodbye. You both, under arrest. Under arrest, eh? should go celebrate your narrow escape with your friends. But I don't have any friends. Now there's a problem. <laughs> Say, are you lost or something? No, I'm just trying to figure out the best route to Duloc. Oh, Duloc! I know Duloc! You gotta let me go with you because I'm like a GPS with fur. I'll be fine on my own, thanks. But nobody's fine on their own. Not when they look like we do. Hey, did you hear what they said? Man, this place is going Stafford. We gotta join forces. Otherwise, they're gonna lock me up and I cannot go back in a cage. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I did six years in solitary for a person named a pinata. <laughs> Whoa. That was really scary. And if you don't mind me saying it, that'll work. Your brother will certainly get the job done. <laughs> Listen, little donkey. Take a look at me. What am I? Is it green? No, an ogre, you know? Grab your torch and pitchfork. Doesn't that bother you? No. Really? Really, really. Oh. Man. I like you. What's your name? Shrek. Shrek, huh? You know what I like about you, Shrek? You got that whole, I don't care what anybody thinks of me thing. I like that. I respect that, Shrek. You all right. Oh, good. Goodbye. Hey, 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 you gotta let me go with you. You don't know what it's like to be a silver free. Well, maybe you do. But that's why we gotta stay together. No, 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 don't speak. Don't speak. Don't speak. Just your feet out. I might surprise you. I'll be a friend when the others despise you. Don't let your eyes stop at the open. You'll be a pal. My calendar's open. I'll bring you soon when you feel congested. I'll make it out to you when you get arrested. I got your back. But what? When things get scary, and I'll shake it. When they get hairy, don't let 
I'm lost, you can come. Yay, woohoo, all right! On so one condition, you keep the jabbering to a minimum. You got it, no jabbering. Man, you will not regret this. Too late. Now that's what I'm talking about, Shrek and Donkey. Two Star Wars friends out for a whirlwind big city adventure. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Look what you've done to my legs! You're a monster! I'm not the monster here, you are! You and the rest of that fairy tale trash poisoning my perfect kingdom. Well, it's not! I kicked up because you're not a king! Oh, but I will be. Just as soon as I find a princess to marry. And I hear you know of one. Tell me where she is! Eat my ah! No! <laughs> I've tried to be fair to you creatures, but now my patience has reached its end. Uh, well, okay, well, well, maybe I've heard tell of a princess. From whom? Do you know? The Muffin Man. <laughs> the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Yes, I know the Muffin Man, who lives on Drey Lane. Well, I heard it from the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man! Cut it from the Mother Man! Can I go now? You haven't told me where she is. Well, I can't. You must! Well, I won't. Tell me or I'll. <laughs> Except for that dragon and lava thing. I'm to find someone else to go. Big surprise! 
I shall make Fiona my queen and do what will finally have the perfect king. Captain, round up your men, summon the citizens, and take that cooking to the swamp. What? That's a fight, Silence, silence. Thelonious, tell the royal coffee I'll need my hair pressed. We're gonna get a queen! <laughs> Yeah! Ha ha! Pow! Ha ha! Rear! 
Come on! Ha! Oh! Ha ha! Ah! Boys! There's no sign of slowing. We're growing, we're growing. Look at me grow. Things are looking up here. Things are cooking up here. My hard work and my rigor have made me so much bigger. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. Things are looking up here in New Lock. Here you've all been waiting for. The raffle drawing to determine who will have the honor of setting off to rescue the lovely Princess Fiona from the fiery keep of the dragon. Speed the barrel! Yay! Ah, uh, excuse me. Whoa! Oh my god! Run for your lives! There's an ogre! Hey! Ah. Are you Lord Farquaad? Maybe. Is the name shot for your heart? No, but that little hat here says. Who let this thing in here, honestly? Come on. Look, I'll be right on your silky hair just as soon as you give me the swamp back. Your swamp? Yeah, or you dumped all those fairy tale creatures. News flash over. That oozing up is actually within the problems of Dulok, therefore, under my jurisdiction. Hmm, now look here. Wait, wait a minute! <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, this is too perfect. What? Is you, you're big and hulking and. Wonderfully spinball. Mm. People, do luck. We have our winner. <laughs> Congratulations, Ogre. You've won the honor of embarking on a great noble quest. Oh, on a quest. To get me swap back. Yes, and you've nearly accomplished it. All you need to do is one more simple little task. I'll hand over the gear to your swamp. What exactly is this little task? A oh, Walter, the dossier on her royal highness. My good people. Your queen is on her way! Things are looking up! Things are looking up! Things are looking up here in New Love! And no one's gonna bring me down! You are so 
all aware. Oh, let me give you a try. Thank you.
try to get information. There's a lot more to ogres than people think. Example. Uh, example. Ogres, ogres. Ogres are like onions. They stink. Yes. No. They make you cry. No. Oh, you leave it out in the sun and they get all brown and start sprouting little white hairs. No. Layers. Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers. You get it? We both have layers. Oh, you both have layers. Parfaits! Everyone loves parfaits! And they have layers! Have you ever met a person you say, hey, let's get some parfaits? And they say, hell no, I don't like no parfaits! Parfaits are delicious. I don't care, ogres are not like parfaits. Parfaits may be the most delicious thing on the whole damn planet. Yeah, no, this may turn into the longest day of my entire life. Ooh, I have the perfect remedy for no, that! No, Pokey, please, I'm begging you. Sing a song, yes, a travel song when you're gone. Shrek, come back. There's people with beards. 
You don't want to wake her up. She gets really mad. Who are you people? What are you talking about? We're knights. You came to rescue the princess. Just like you. That was me, though. We're the lucky ones. The others got incinerated. She keeps us around because we sing back up. That's what we got. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's what we did. Dragon! That's what we said. Another day inside my keys. I get no rest, I get no sleep. Cause when I start to count my sheep, you come around. I draw my shade and lock my door.
Hello? Anyone up there? Shouldn't you like toss your hair down or something? Ah, oh, forget it. Oh, man, I should have worn me cup. Huh? Ah, great, I got one of the snoozers. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Are you Princess Fiona? I am. Wedding night so bold as to rescue me. Oh, that's nice. Now let's go. But wait, Sir Knight. I have a long way to stay, and I wouldst like to know us the name of my champion. Ah, uh, Shrek? Sir Shrek, I pray that you take this as a token of my gratitude. Ah, uh, thanks. So, uh, where's the door? Why, there is no door. Well, what do you mean there's no door? Then how do we get down? Why, the same way you come up. The same way I... Oh, come on, I just... I am. Uh... Ready, well then, let's go. Hold us on, Sir Knight. This will be at our first meeting. It must be a wonderful romantic scene. Oh, jeez, I'm like a crackpot magnet. Now get on! This is how the scene must go. You standing there, the light just soon. Then you smiling, gaze at me. Take my hand on bended knee. Bended knee. Bended knee. Oh. I'm sorry. And though you won't be mad, somehow I always knew it would look like this when dreams come through. My ass. Ah, uh, no. Why not? 
I, I have all my hair. Oh, please. I was such a funny face in my rescuer. Oh, no, you wouldn't kiss. But how will you kiss me? Oh, what do you mean? That was not in the job description. Maybe it's a perk. No, it's destiny. A princess is saved by a brave knight, and they share true love's first kiss. Who is Shrek? <laughs> you think Shrek is your true love? <laughs> What's so funny? Well, let's just say I'm not your type, okay? Of course you are. You're my rescuer. Now, move your helmet. Look, I really don't think just it's a good Just take it off. I'm not going to. Take it off. I'm not. Now! <laughs> Very well, then. As you command, your highness. You're an ogre. No, you were expecting Prince Charming. Well, yes, actually. Oh no, I'm supposed to be saved by my true love, not by some ogre in his head. Oh, well so much for noble steed. <laughs> You're not supposed to be an ogre. Look, princess, I was sent to rescue you by Lord Farquaad, okay? He's the one who wants to marry you. Oh, then why didn't he come rescue me? Good question. You can ask him when we get there tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh my gosh, it's almost sunset. So? It's very late. We need to make a camp. Camp, but you just escaped. Yes, and I found the whole ordeal quite exhausting. I need to rest immediately. Well, that's too bad, because we're going to keep going. I need to find somewhere to camp right now. <laughs> Very well, then. There's a cave right over there. Shrek, that's no place for a princess. No, no, it's perfect. Well, gentlemen, I bid thee good night. Do you want me to read you a bedtime story? Because I will. I said good night. <laughs> She seems nice. And this is what I realize. If we escape a dragon, we can do anything. Man, I could be a steed. Or I could work at the crochet circuit if I want to. Or I could be one of those horses who pull those wagons full of beer. Mm. I'll need some hair extensions on my ankles, but I can do it. Who do you want to be? I don't want to be anyone. Just for fun, though, would you pick? I wouldn't. But, for, but if we had to. Donkey. Like if a guy had a sword at your throat, he was like, Look here, you can't be an ogre anymore. Now who's me? I would pick that guy up and I'd throw him out of a tree. <laughs> you are no fun at all, you know what? Is this what it's going to be like after finishing rescuing the princess? Us sitting around our swamp doing nothing? Our swamp? Donkey, there's no hours. There's no we. There's only me and my swamp. And when I do get back, the first thing I'm going to do is build a ten-foot wall around my land. You cut me deep, sure. You cut me real deep just now. What's your problem anyway? What do you have against the whole world? I'm not the one with the problem, okay? It's the world who seems to have a problem with me. You saw how that princess reacted. That's how it always is. People judge me before they even know me. That's why I'm better off alone. You know what, Shrek? When we met, I didn't think you were just some big, stupid, ugly ogre. Yeah, I know. So, there's really no one else you'd rather be? I guess I'd be a hero With sword and armor clashing Looking, semi-dashing A shield within my grip or else I'd be a Viking and live a life I didn't while smelling like a hero upon a Viking ship. I'd sail away, I'd see the world, I'd reach the farthest reaches, I'd feel the wind, I'd taste the salt and sea, and maybe storm some beaches. That's who I'd be. That's who I'd be. Or I could be a poet and write a different story. Oh, one that tells the glory and wipes away the lies. And to the skies I'd throw it. The stars would do the telling. The moon would help the spelling. And night would dot the eyes. I'd write to burn. Night to joke. And perfect timing. I'd share my heart. That's the things I yearn. We all learn. An ogre always hides. An ogre 
whose fate is known. And Ogre always stays in the dark and all alone. That's how it would be. 